Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel Express Your Data. In today's video, we are going to learn and understand what is NVL function and how we can handle this in real time. So it is not mandatory that in every record that we have in real time will have some value. So there is a probability that we might get a nulls. So this is like exceptional handling and how efficient are you writing your code so that you, know, you are handling your nulls in real time. So to understand that, let us go to our SQL and let us run you know, some queries to understand how NVL is working and we'll see how we can you know uh, capture that exception. While I do so, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and let's get started. So here, I have connected to my SQL database and I have a table called as employee table. So I'm just running that to show you. And I have 14 rows of records here. So from that, I'm just for now considering employee name uh, and uh, job, salary and commission I'm considering from my employee table. Now see here, some of my employees have commission and some of my employees does not have commission. Now, when I try to get the total salary, so my total salary is nothing but salary plus commission will give me total salary, right? Agreed. So when I do that, comma commission, comma, I'm doing simple, basic arithmetic operation to calculate that from employee. Now, if you see how Tableau works, uh, how SQL works is wherever we have some commission, we are getting a total value. But in cases where the commission, we do not have any commission, that is actually returning us null value. Now, this is what we need to capture. Okay. So to fix this, I'm using a function called as NVL or what we need to do when we get a null value. So I'm trying to write a simple function or rather use that salary comma commission. Now this time what I'm doing is whenever I get a null value, I want to replace my commission with zero. That is what I'm trying to do from employee table. A very basic thing here. Now what is happening here? Wherever I have commission as zero, it is giving me zero, right? Now, when I try to run our actual query using NVL function, NVL of commission comma zero, then it will give me a perfect answer. See here. Now, even though we do not have anything, but we are handling at that at the runtime and we are returning the results. Now you will not see any blank value. This is the first you know, use case of an NVL function. Now let us see some different scenarios here, which I have written. Okay. So I want to, I have list of employees and I want to give 500 as commission to the employees who does not have any commission. Okay. So I want to give, again, I'm repeating the question. I want to give 500 as the commission for all of the employees who does not have any. And I want to see. So now what I'm doing is see here. So same likewise, instead of 100, I'm giving 500 here. And I'm trying to, run this command. So now what is happening if you observe for all the employees who does not have any commission, I'm giving 500 as the commission. So now what is my total salary, salary plus my bonus that I'm giving, it is resulting in 5,500. But for all of those employees who have salary and commission, it is simply adding up. See here blank zero is some value. Okay. Numeric value. So it is some commission, but when you do not have any value, it is a blank, which is not equal to zero nor 
is it equal to any value so you have to understand that here okay so now earlier what we did simply we have equated z to zero now we are giving 500 as a commission to all the employees who does not have any commission next is what i'm doing is again i'm trying to just improvise my question and we'll try to write an advanced sql here now what i'm doing i want list of employees and give 500 as commission who have uh, who has commission okay and flat 5000 for those who do not have any so for all those employees who have commission i want to give them 500 okay and for all of those employees who does not have any commission i want to give them 1000 as flat okay so now let us try to run that here and uh, i'm just writing here employee and i will just run it or execute here okay let us run it now let us try to understand so for all of the employees who does not have commission i am giving flat 1000 as the commission so what is happening here it is returning 6000 but for all of those employees who have some commission so say like say uh, we have 1600 plus 300 is 1900 right 1900 plus 500 is 2400 so for all of those employees who have commission we are giving 500 as the commission and for all others it is 1000 as the flat so now we are handling multiple conditions in a single statement okay so this type of questions we might get in real time if you are going for an interview in sql okay so very important next is again i'm just trying to uh, you know optimize my question and see a different scenario here and this time what i'm doing is uh, display list of employees and give a flat 2000 as a commission who have any like i mean if they have any commission we should give flat to 2000 and 3000 as flat for for all of those who does not have any commission now there are two questions in this okay so if there are any existing commissions for all of those we have to give flat to 2000 and for all of those who does not have anything we have to give 3000 now see here simply we can write it like this right? and i'm just trying to run this is okay it is not copied here okay now observe here what is happening for all of those employees who does not have any commission 3000 as the flat commission so 5000 plus 3000 is 8000 perfect but for all of those who have some commission, we should give 2000 as the flat. So 1250 plus 2000 should give us 3200. Isn't that we are getting? Now what is happening here? First, we are doing commission plus 2000. Okay. So whatever is the existing communicate uh, commission is there. We are giving 2000 plus this. So now what is happening again? After that, I'm subtracting my commission. So which will get back our flat 2000 so even though we have some values we are trying to manipulate our data and give what is needed actually okay so you i mean we should evolve to a state or practice to a state that we are able to understand these type of questions and we can write it into a logical form okay displaying or giving flat 2000 as commission for all of those who have some commission and flat 3000 as commission for all of those who does not have anything okay so then something that is very important and interesting to understand next important question is here is now i want to find out total cost of the employee here or we can also call it as like say annual salary also so now when I say annual salary, majority of us 
will do this common mistake like say salary comma commission comma directly salary plus commission they will do and into 12 because i said annual salary but now when i do that you know we are not handling the exceptions here so which will clearly show that you know you are we are not writing a perfect sql to capture the expression uh, exceptions so now to fix that we can use our nvl function to get the perfect results again what i'm doing is simply running this square Okay, now in this, what we are doing. So here, when we are doing that for our, for us, the brackets are also very important. First, we are calculating or finding whether we have any nulls. And if we have any, we are replacing that with zero. And then we are doing salary plus commission. And once we get that, we are multiplying with the 12 because we have 12 months and just, I'm just multiplying that. This is the results. Now 5,000 is our actual salary plus commission. If I do, it is zero. So 12 is 60,000 we got. That way we can do. Okay. So now if I have anything, like say 1,600 plus 300 is the commission, I'm getting 22,800. 22, Likewise, 1,500 plus zero is 1,500 into 12 is 18,000. That way we are getting the annual salary. Again, getting annual salary is one common scenario that we will get. So now till now we have added commissions to all those who have or we have given some bonus to all those who have. Now I want to do it in terms of percentage. Okay. Now here the question is find the total cost of employee and give 10% bonus to those who have any any and three three thousand as bonus for all those who do not have any like in case i do not have any bonus or any commission then i should get three thousand as the bonus if i have anything i should get only ten percent that is the requirement here okay so for that we can write a simple statement like this just running it here now what i am doing here first so commission plus 10 percent of i'm doing here salary plus 10 percent and if i do not have anything i'm just replacing it with zero and into two so if i run it this is the result okay so that's it from my side in this video. I hope it is clear now how we can use NVL functions in real time and make our query a very standard query. Okay, so if this video helps you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day and bye-bye.